so for the Make Code Minute today, what I wanted to show you is sort of an extension of what I started talking about last week, which is using JavaScript to enhance some of your blocks. Uh, and what I'm also showing here is the use of the button press in uh, maybe not the most typical way. We usually use the, the button click event. It's the default. Uh, but you'll, you'll see here in Make Code, there's actually, I'm going to zoom way up, in these input blocks on button A, normally it says click. And so it waits for a press and a release. But here I'm using the down and the up, which means that I can do different events based on pressing the button down and the button up. Uh, what you'll see here for button A is that I have these two JavaScript blocks. So when I press the A button down, I'm going to iterate through the nine pixels, lighting them up, except I'm going to add two to the index every time we loop through. So that means I'm going to light every other pixel. Then when I release the button up, it's going to essentially hit the other set. Let's say we did the odd set and then the even set or vice versa. Uh, so to see this in action, here's, uh, let me show you, here's my Circuit Playground Express and I'm going to press the A button and you see it lit up with a little pause each of those pixels. When I release, it lights up the other set. So press and release. And same with the B button, I have a different color set. So down, blue, up, lighter blue. Uh, so if you look in JavaScript here, some of this wasn't possible in blocks. Uh, in fact, you can't, again, using the, the generic um, or the, the basic block, you can't add two to the value every time you loop through, not in the header of that block. Um, that block typically, if I pull one of those in, uh, that's it. It says for index from zero to a number. Uh, so this is a way that I can use JavaScript to change the behavior of that block and also check out a different uh, variation on the button which allows me to have one event on down and a different event on up. So here you can see in the JavaScript, there's my first loop through. I'm doing plus two. On my second loop through, I am doing this one here and I initially set the index to one instead of zero. So that's going to go through the evens or the odds. So first the evens, then the odds. Um, and so that is a way that you can extend the functionality of your make code blocks with JavaScript and use the down and up button events to get different behaviors. And that is your make code minute.